Hey, you are. It's book release day. Today, we celebrate the release of this book right here. So it is December 12th, yes. And uh, it's a Monday, and I've never released a book on a Monday, but this is just how it worked out this time. So fun fact about ordering my author copy, when I went to order it myself, uh, like through the KDP dashboard, it said it would take three to four weeks to get here. So I did that to order the uh, signed paperbacks that people ordered, but <laughs> I was not willing to wait. But if you have a friend who has Amazon Prime and you ask them to order the book for you, it arrives within two days. So for whatever reason, Amazon is willing to ship fast for everyone else, but not for the people who write the books. Okay, so I got dressed in clothes, <laughs> and I think we're gonna go outside and take photos with the book, cause it's beautiful and snowy. took all my photos I went inside and started editing the photos and posting my newsletter and posting on social media and doing all the things to update everything that you have to update every time you publish a book so that's basically my morning is doing all this somewhat boring admin work that ends up being really worth it at the end of the day all right guys so we are in my kitchen while I make myself lunch and when I say lunch, I mean breakfast for lunch because that's just how I roll. But I wanted to discuss how um, this release has been so, so different from past releases of mine, specifically Meet Me at the Summit, which was the first book in the Road Trip Snapshot series. Um, so Meet Me at the Summit went extremely well. Like I had the book adventure box and so many people were buying the book adventure box and I was packaging orders for the book adventure box and it just honestly was a huge success and I had worked with NetGalley to get advanced reviews of the book so when release day came around I got quite a few people writing reviews of the book online and I believe I said it in a previous video but I, I sold over a hundred pre-orders which is just amazing um, and if you want to watch the video where I go into how I did that, I will link it down below. But this, this book release is very different, mainly because it's a sequel. And I've never published a sequel before. I've done companion novels, Essence and I Mercy are companion novels. And I've done nonfiction series, but I've never done like a novel series. So that's what Meet Me at the Summit and Let the Rebel Fall are together is you do have to read them in consecutive order. I mean, I guess you could read them out of order and I give enough context for it to make sense, but like it's meant to be read in order. Um, so that means that naturally there's gonna be less people reading Let the Rebel Fall than there ever will be of people who read Meet Me at the Summit. Because, let's face it, not everyone's going to love Meet Me at the Summit, and that doesn't make it a bad book. That just means people have different tastes in books. So basically, what I'm saying is the release for this book has been very, very different because for Meet Me at the Summit, there was a lot of excitement. And not to say there hasn't been excitement for Let the Rubble Fall, but it's a sequel. <laughs> like, it's just going to naturally have less people interested in. So I just want to have that discussion here because I feel like that's something that people don't talk about and something that I definitely was not mentally prepared for and I like I've wrapped my head around it now and it makes this release day a lot easier because frankly for a long time I was just super upset because like I didn't have nearly as many pre-orders as I did for Meet Me at the Summit and I had a hard time trying to find advanced reader copy readers. Half the people that applied to read an advanced reader copy hadn't even read Meet Me at the Summit yet, so I didn't want to give them a copy of Let the Rubble Fall for free. 
have them read it and then hate it because they're like, this is stupid. There's a lot of backstory missing when in reality there isn't backstory missing. They just didn't read the first book yet. So that's the struggles with writing sequels. Um, and it's, it's made it feel like a little bit lackluster, but I am slowly adjusting and I've decided that today in particular, I'm just, I'm setting the bar really low. So whenever I do make sales, it feels like a huge celebration rather than comparing it to Meet Me at the Summit because Meet Me at the Summit just went so well. And there's, it's just impossible to live up to that, especially since with Meet Me at the Summit, I did have the book adventure box and I didn't have time to do it for Let the Rubble Fall, which is potentially another thing that affected book sales and numbers. Um... So yeah, I just wanted to talk out loud with you guys. But otherwise, like taking that into account, it's been a really good release day. Things have been going super smooth for the most part. Um, any issues that I might have had came leading up to release, which makes today easier to just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And speaking of enjoy, that was my big goal, was I wanted to make sure I really enjoyed this day. So I'm actually going to New York today and there's a Harry Potter like enchanted forest experience in New York right now. It's basically like a walk through Christmas light thing that's outside, but it's Harry Potter stuff instead. I'm also going with an author friend who lives nearby. So if you know who I'm talking about, comment down below. Uh, but you'll see her later on in this video and I'm super excited. So that's what we're leading up to today is this fun event and I, I, mean, I just have to do my regular work day first. So by the end of the day, I had done all my newsletter and all my social media posting, so now it was time to ship out pre-order incentives, and one of those items for pre-order incentives was a signed book plate. So I made some that are custom for Let the Rubble Fall, so this is just me printing and cutting them out. And then once I did that, I also made sure to actually sign them all. And then I could go ahead and start assembling my pre-order incentive packages and send them out to the mail. And then after this, the very last thing I had to do was fulfill shop orders for my store, Stone Ridge Stickers. Since it was Monday, I had a lot of sticker orders that came in over the weekend, so I just need to make sure to fulfill those and then send them out to the mail. In case you didn't know, I also have a second YouTube channel where I show myself using all my stickers in my planner to do fun plan with me videos. So that YouTube channel is Stone Ridge Stickers. And then if you want to shop my actual sticker store, it's also called Stone Ridge Stickers. But no matter what comes your way, I will stay right here beside you to catch you if you fall. And deep in the Okay, I finished working for the day, so now we're gonna go to our Harry Potter event, and it involves bringing this and uh, these, <laughs> which are Harry Potter robes. So I'm gonna go get in the car, and we're gonna go pick up our lovely author friend that's gonna be joining us for the day. I'm here in a parking lot, and here <laughs> is my friend. Hi, everybody! You guys might know her as Brittany Wing, the author of uh, On Wings of Ash and Dust. Yes. So, Harry Potter robes on top of my winter jacket. It feels like Halloween as a child, where I put my winter jacket on underneath. Yes. And then Brittany's got her Hufflepuff robe. Oh. Hufflepuff robe. And we are ready to party. Yes. <laughs>
the next day, but I wanted to come in and close the vlog and say a couple things because this was perhaps my most fun and exciting release day. And basically what I took from this is that I'm going to focus on just having fun more often, especially on release day, and not make it feel like a super stressful thing. <laughs> Because leading up to the release of Let the Rebel Fall, I was honestly feeling super discouraged and just kind of like down in the dumps, like publishing the book for the sake of publishing it because I wrote it and not necessarily because like it was going to be a huge success because like I was basically like, no matter what I do, this book is not going to be as good as my last book. Like it's a sequel, like the sequel isn't going to sell as many as the first book in the series. And I was just feeling like super discouraged about it. So when I just changed to focusing on just having fun, publishing the book that I want to publish, and just doing my own thing, it became much, much better. And I honestly, I set the bar really low for myself. I had super low expectations. And today, when I logged in and looked at my book stats to see sales, I was so pleasantly surprised and even though like I had mentally told myself like anyone who wanted to pre-order would have pre-ordered like I'm probably not going to have that many sales on release day but I did and it gave me something to celebrate and be proud of rather than constantly comparing it to my last book and I think that's the hardest thing is like you're always comparing yourself to other authors and then you have to compare yourself to yourself and it's just like sometimes you're not always going to do amazing and that doesn't mean the book was bad. It just means the book is living a different situation and a different timeline and so many other factors. I also wanted to say if you've read Let the Rebel Fall, please, please write a review on Amazon. Right now there's only one review on Amazon, which I think any other day I would have been super disappointed with. But again, sequels, it's harder to get ARC readers, it's harder to get reviews right away, all of that. So I'm learning to go with the flow with this book and just letting what happened happen. And uh, yeah, so if you've read the book, please, please review it. <laughs> it's a huge help. And thank you all for watching this release day vlog.